Yes, guys, we are finally back again for another reaction on this year. BR, BP, TV, Be Real, Be Positive, Television, Brothers and Sisters. Have a shirt on me. <laughs> a number of you guys have been telling me, Mr. Let's put a shirt on you guys. Huh? You just uh, flexing more. So. Anyways, brothers and sisters, you know, we, we family, man. We family. We don't have to worry about them things there. You see it. But of course, big up on yourself for definitely tuning into another vibrations on this year. BR, BP, TV, reactions, guys. And of course, with that said, let us get into the vibrations for today right there by the way i won't be dropping a mr licks reacts uh, uh video um if you want to go check that out just check out the latest one on the mr licks react channel guys let it get the vibrations for today of course i'm reminding you guys that there will be a meeting on the 14th brothers and sisters the 14th of august that is monday coming brothers and sisters in regards to electoral reform um the situation in dominica of course there'll be one on the 14th and the 15th and of course they mentioned in there well they mentioned that they're going to be a public uh, sessions or a few public sessions in that regard along with the oas uh, caricom and of course oecs organization of the eastern caribbean states will be participating in the consultation brothers and sisters which i think is a good thing but at the end of the day like i said before it is the people not them but the people not the government not scary uh, no the people who are clearly responsible for the fate of which they must um seek um free and fair elections okay guys so i just have to remind you guys and by the way guys i dropped up mr Lick's vlogs right we there we're gonna do the blue one guys hopefully i can film it for you guys <laughs> that was fun oh it was scary but it was fun no doubt no, about wait, wait, it no. when you're going over that bro you mad that was that was something else yes man yes man yes man yes <laughs> hey big up the massive one time right there anyways guys so check that out that link will be in the first comment in the comment box below of course it'll be on mr Lick's vlogs like i said before i'm not dropping a mr Lick's react channel guys but i dropped the vlog and of course you can definitely check that vibrations out in the link in the first comment in the comment box below right there now brothers and sisters sean douglas is recording in posse for those of us who have not seen posse in a while well we get to see what posse looks like i think this was a bit um earlier on in august Let's let's look at August. A posse midweek. Bay Street. Bay Street posse. Wednesday afternoon, August second. Wednesday Bay afternoon. Street, right? Main street in Portsmouth, right? Bay Street. Main street. It's empty. Hmm. But at least there's music playing, you know? In times of hardship, music. Ah. Right? That's the main street yes, in I. Portsmouth, right? Bay Street. Main street. And I know it's not gigs that happen in there, because I know these individuals, they just tend to come and play there for fun. So I'm guessing these individuals may, may not have work, or maybe they accomplished their work already. He said it's 2 p.m., not true? Wednesday afternoon, August 2nd. Bay Street, right? That's the main street in Portsmouth, right? Bay Street. Oh, main street. Well, we do see the time. But we can pretty much tell. It's daytime, brothers and sisters. All right. So we're taking a walk through Posse. Not a soul. <laughs> so One person coming. Boy. Things are so brilliant in Posse, you know. That man no outside, man inside. Police station is on your left. Well, there's a vehicle passing. At least there's a vehicle passing. At least you can see at least we see a vehicle passing. Wednesday midweek. Yes, sir. But things, but things, but you know what? Everybody must have get a money. Either everybody get a money or nobody have money. Either the other. <laughs> Either or. Hmm. I say Sunday. Man. Well, you say midweek Wednesday. Week? Well, that is the second vehicle that passed. Huh? <laughs> Wonderful. Things are going well in Dominica. In Porsi. Yeah. We have a dog there. Oh, a dog. Okay. We have a dog. Yes, yeah, Lord. Man. That's, that's mm. Portsmouth. Okay. That is Portsmouth, really. Okay. <laughs> Midweek. <laughs> Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday. Wednesday. August 2nd. August 2nd. You should have give it time. You should have give it time too soon. 
but you know well <coughs> it can't get worse it cannot get worse man you know please be informed effective immediately for the 2023 2024 academic year all parents students who have received the assistance with books are required to pay and they put it in red to pay yes not some you know but all parents who have received assistance with books are required to pay a minimum of free minimum three hundred dollars brother how you get an assistance with books and have to pay three hundred dollars for the books brothers and sisters when i was going when i when i graduate you don't graduate what do you call that you graduate when i finish um um what do you call that primary school and you moved into high school i think the monies that was that was allocated for scholar goods or scholar good ships um was three hundred dollars well that was you know a, a few years ago so maybe things are different but it seems like the assistance for scholarships they get in 300 dollars still <laughs> they get in 300 dollars still and books probably all 500 dollars so they say that the people who received assistance with books brothers and sisters are now required caps lock you can't miss it required i myself say is a typo that day but when they put required in caps lock and then the two two letters down they say pay in red brothers and sisters so if you you call out well if you call about you still can't see it but if if you will see something looking different you have to you you have to pay a minimum of the minimum of three hundred dollars even though you receive assistance well I don't know how scholarships working now, but I, 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 I could be mistaken myself. Okay, so we've seen some guidelines down there. If there are any books missing, please note assistance will not be given if you are unable to pay. So what 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 do they mean by assistance? If you receive it, oh assistance could be I'm I'm assisting you. So maybe the books are a thousand dollars and you have to you have to pay three hundred dollars. Maybe that's what they're talking about right there. The assisting off. Not the complete covering off. But I thought that's what scholarships was about. But they say all parents. So I'm guessing all the parents that got scholarships, the children got scholarships and whatnot, still have to do that. I, I don't know. Anyways, we are appealing to all parents, students who no longer have use for the books or are promoted to another form to return the books for restamping or to recycle. I'm guessing during the, the high school years, you know, you have to return the books and you know. Yeah, okay. Also consider that if or when parents or students decide to go to the education office in Buffer State, they will also need to pay as well. So you don't you you're going for a shortcut, no. You get assistance. <laughs> Not a full covering, brothers and sisters. As much as we love assisting parents or students with educational supplies, we are unable to meet the entire public needs with the availability for books slash uniforms. So every parent needs to pay. Is three hundred dollars, so you can get assistance. Okay. All right then. Just letting you guys know. Please be aware that we are not receive. We have not received an influx of books for constituencies. Probably they sell them books. <laughs> them people who had them free books, they probably sell it to other parents for a cheaper price. <laughs> Maybe that's that's what happens. Who knows? When if books uniforms become available, the public will be informed. Of the availability of such said stocks right there so yeah but if you don't have the three hundred dollars well you have to shake your pampalam all right oh talking about that 
Dominica State College, brothers and sisters, message board. Good morning to all of my kids and my darlings. We currently have 15, 15 vacant positions at our institutions, at our institution. They are attached for your reference considering, um, for your reference consideration and circulation. 15 vacant positions. Now, brothers and sisters, I was asking a number of individuals, you know, people who were sending me these kind of things. They were stating to me, I was asking them, so, is it, is it, why are people leaving? I guess some, some might be fed up. Or it could be on the basis of retirement age. But I'm thinking of retirement age. If it's retirement, that means people were working there all their life. You know, never filing any upscale to say, okay, let me see if I can go into this or that. And that's, where I guess they decide to stay because probably that's the security that they have to ensure that when they get old and reach retirement age, maybe that's why they waited it out so they could finally leave because if they had to go some other positions and don't know what's going to happen to them, they stayed there. The ability to upscale your talents is it's, it's not, um, not the best in the nature of the Caribbean, brothers and sisters. For example, you might go to school and learn, and you might come back to Dominica, and pretty much, it's not too far-fetched to say that you'll get the same salary, <laughs> if whatever you learn, because sometimes, well, no, I think maybe in the education department, it's a bit different, if you go to school and did education, and maybe you come back, and maybe that's where you can upskill yourself, but generally speaking, brothers and sisters, that is not the case. It's not a case in Dominica. You don't go to school and come back and think you get a higher degree. You have to go somewhere else and work. And hopefully they pay you a bit more in that regard. So it's very interesting. But 15 vacant positions, brothers and sisters. These are some of them. Carpentry and construction lecturer. Maybe this person retired and decided, you know what? Time for me to leave, man. I work it all my life. My bone break, you know, less children. They want them to learn themselves when you 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 teach the child the, the the students to learn carpentry and construction and then you put them out in the workplace brothers and sisters and foreigners are taking it eh? foreigners that have it you know so <laughs> um the technician of the carpentry and of course construction workshop is needed a technician all right then plumbing lecturer of course plumbing lecturer that individual probably decides, you know what, that way that, let me see if I can go overseas and see if I can utilize. You know how much money plumbing does make here? Yeah. You know how much money bank alas, ashesh, does make here? Yeah. All right. All right, then. One of my people, they was telling me to cut, to cut tree, um, to cut some trees in the neighborhood. 750 US dollars to cut not not to cut down tree no brothers and sisters to br the branches of the tree to shape it up so you might have some branches overlaying you know you want somebody to cut it off 750 dollars I mean, for one day can you imagine that doing that twice for different neighbors and whatnot you can you imagine doing that twice oh you mad Next one, accounting lecturer. Yes, man. Accounting lecturer. I myself, if I was a accounting lecturer in Dominican State College, long time I leave. You know why? Because when you overseas and you're doing accounting, you know the bank, you know the amount of money you make doing accounting. And you can also upscale as an accountant overseas. <laughs> okay. You don't know? Okay. See, a mathematician instructor brothers and sisters mathematics instructor c sec mathematics instructor <laughs> yes that person probably retire <laughs> i don't know that person decide you know bond let's let them go next one biology lecturer brothers and sisters i did biology in college now i think so i can't remember the teacher but biology lecturer is needed and of course education lecturer maybe they should Maybe Jonilia, they extend the deadline. Not true for education lecturer. People are apparently not planning applying for that. <laughs> but they extend the deadline, brothers and sisters, for this one right there. So I guess Jonilia probably need to go go and take a course. She need to go and take a course inside there. 
because she's education minister, but she's in need of education. <laughs> All right. Hey, there, brothers and sisters. I saw this right there. Somebody stated, nobody put the Commonwealth in rice. You know, when your phone sink in water and you need to get it out and try to save it. Well, they're trying to save the Commonwealth, man. Put the Commonwealth of the nature of the Caribbean Dominica in rice. I agree. This particular individual stated, let us to the citizens. Let us be citizen. Okay, I guess all you know what all you're saying. There. From someone who used to be pro labor or labor right or pro labor in the Dominican lingo. <laughs> I don't know all the facts, but the zombie that's going on in Dominica there by this government on the people of this country is extremely lethal. Yes. Because I cannot fathom all the situations that is going on. And the people are staying quiet. I even hear botanical gardens getting sold to the Chinese. I don't know if that is true. but I And I tell the people are telling me that. Well, guys, that cannot be, you know, because botanical garden is a national site, you know. And one of them tell me, what about cabrits? But I tell them, yeah, the cabrits on top, this was swamp lands below. But they still say that was national, you know, lands and what have you. But they did something and the, I say, well, it was in Belfast region and the Cabrits National Park. They tell me, yes, it's still associated with based of the mapping, the geographical factor. They told me that, yes, that is part of national thing and they did sell it over. To who, by the way? Who is the owner of Kepinski? Oh, not Kepinski. Who is the owner of um, the Cabrits Resort? Anyways, let's leave that alone. This person is saying, I saw Ian Douglas at a certain location a few nights ago and we had a small conversation. He stated that he has left all his politics behind him. You lie. He don't leave it behind him. He leave, don't leave it behind him because I'm sure he wanted to stay, but you know, scary telling me he has to go. So he went here yeah, to obey his master. He stated that he has left all his political stuff behind him. I told him maybe it is a Rosie and Mike Spirit talking to you in an effort to try to save you. Maybe. From his body and facial expression, all you see is a zombie deep within that human being there, yes. Like he's fighting some zombie spiritual battle. I am talking about fierce zombie brothers and sisters, for real. The person make sure they say, for real. Just imagine the rest of them. I pointed that out to another person who was present after he had left, I guess after Ian had left. And the individual said to me that he, Ian, is much better than he was a year ago. Well, I'm, Maybe that could be true. In the sense of, you know, him constantly drinking and stuff, you know. When I saw him, he wasn't drinking. I always used to see him drinking before, but then when I used to see him, he wasn't drinking. So I'm guessing in that light, he's better, you know? Making sure that the stomach is not, you know, affected by too much alcoholic consumption. <laughs> uh, that there are strong zombie forces controlling Dominica right now, I agree. Yes. Because you cannot tell me that the people seen what's going on. I used to believe back in the day, brothers and sisters, I used to believe that, you know, people not seeing. You know, people not seeing. But when people, when you know people seen because they tell you they seen and they just agree with what you seen, what? <laughs> what is their party? You know? It's an interesting thing. The mind, human mind. Ah. Once you affect that human mind, there, brothers and sisters, you know it's brainwashing. Woo! Boy, that is a dangerous thing. Right there. Anyways, that there are some strong zombie forces controlling America right now. I can see no way out unless there is some serious upheavenly naturally. What? Upheaval, brothers and sisters. Some serious upheaval. Some uprooting, brothers and sisters. Naturally or man made with the blessings of the most high creator of the heaven and earth to destroy and cast out the wickedness. Cast it away. Throw it in the deep blue sea. Yes, brothers. Cross the bridge. 
this evil spell to the depth. Cast it down, tie it, noose it to its neck, and drop it in the sea. Brothers and sisters in the deep blue sea, yes, drop it to the depths of hell, man. Hades, man. But of course, we know we're keeping that down. We know who? You don't know? Well, I know somebody, I know somebody who knows. Fly. Yes. Tell us why, who, or what need to fly away soon. Lemorize. So the culprit isn't necessary those at the top. Because we tend to focus on the wrong set of people. Just like when the police would come and barricade. And then we make noise with the police as if it's the police that are the ones doing this. Sometimes, yes, they are the ones doing this. Some of them just wicked, you know. But most times the order comes from the top. So we don't make noise with the top for selling the police. We send, we make noise with the police. Okay? We make noise with the people that we see. Just so most times, if scary them would do that, they would most likely send the people who they know are not necessarily for them. They will send them in the front line to be against the very people who are protesting the government. So it's interesting how he's doing it. <laughs> you don't think I know? <laughs> what don't I know? <laughs> he would say, the, like, let's say I'm a supporter of the protesters that are going on there, the workers. He knows that I'm a supporter. I'm not, I don't vocally speak against him and whatnot. So he will send me to barricade the workers. And then the workers would make noise with me, but not knowing that I'm a supporter of them. It's interesting how, how this, this whole thing works. But anyways, brothers and sisters, the people who are guilty of keeping Dominica down are the very people who are being oppressed. Just like I mentioned the bus drivers for you guys, the bus drivers protesting to get some sort of relief in these hard economic times, brothers and sisters. And bus drivers were protesting against the very same bus drivers. Imagine that. That to happen in Dominica. We? It's not a movie that they're not that real. That's a real thing. Okay then. Alright. Anyways, talking about flying away, brothers and sisters. Ah, fly away. No, brothers and sisters, I don't know what is the thing on this. However, people have been reporting that the sign Asta fans is missing. <laughs> Look at there. The sign probably fly away. They probably take it down. The sign has been up there for a long, long, long time. So they probably take it down to wash it, brothers and sisters. You know, to clean it, make sure it's looking nice. And they're going to put it back up. Who knows? But people have been stating that Asta fan sign is gone. Why? It's no longer to be seen. You see that square thing there? <laughs> That is where that was, brothers and sisters. That thing you see in there, this square thing, it gone. So I'm saying, you know, maybe things are going a bit tough, you know. And they're probably trying to leave to go somewhere else. Who knows? Things are hard in the nature. But it's the people that think that everything is going fine and dandy because they're getting a few hundred dollars every election. <laughs> Or they get a home that they cannot pass on to their family members. So. This is not Photoshop. This is not AI generated. Hit me seen. Okay. What are your thoughts brothers and sisters? Do you think that the Asta fans are leaving? Do you think they are fed up of, you know, getting less and less money every year because the people are getting less and less money every year? And on top of that, the government is then taxing? Boy, I tell you boy. Yes, man. Like Ian stated before, if not VAT, what else? Well, we are taxes. So you have VAT and you are taxes. <laughs> oh, yes, man. But at least, brothers and sisters, with all the clue, man, what appears to be horror, brothers and sisters, caused by the very people themselves, brothers and sisters, at least we have some good news. We have this beautiful set of women, brothers and sisters. Beautiful, yes, lovely indeed. Yes, man, lovely indeed. 
this is dominica right there miss dominica and of course guys she came in first runner-up in the miss jesse's results brother and sister she didn't get best in nothing but i guess overall on average she was then able to uh, play second or first runner-up the winner of course antigan barbuda and of course second runner-up or third um overall saint vincent and the grenadines so kudos to um miss dominica miss miss burton i think that's her last name kudos to her i think today they're gonna be doing some sort of um she's cute man she's definitely cute anyways motorcade yes welcome home motorcade for her and of course that'll be there this evening i was told around 5 p.m all right from airport to the kalinago baranara out i don't know a mute music and refreshments will be provided yes food free food i will be there well i'm not going to be there what free food was there i would have been there mm -hmm. <laughs> so while people well so congratulations to her for for the miss jc uh, results unfortunately she didn't get it for the miss caribbean culture queen she did not make the top five the top five were actually these individuals right there miss thomas miss st thomas miss guyana miss st st croix miss st vincent and grenadines and miss tnt antigua didn't make that one man okay well yeah so that's a very interesting one even though antigua won this one Antigua didn't place neither. Neither did Dominica place. But you know who placed? St. Vincent and the Grenadines, top five. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. They must be doing something down there. I think the whole thing here is adaptation from what I understood in this whole process of pageantry. But kudos to this beautiful Dominican woman right there. Beautiful indeed. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. Oh, Caribbean women are so beautiful. Oh, they are beauty. Oh, beauty. Mm. Three magnifique. Yes, creation of God. Ah. <laughs> I was just trying to do what I saw a guy do. The creation of God. Yes. Anyways, brothers and sisters, while I said right there, don't forget to check out the latest vlog that I did, brothers and sisters. That will be on the next vlog. So can 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 for you guys. Right there. That was pretty fun. I hung out with my family and friends and you know we went crazy man you wouldn't see all of them on camera but you might see a few of them man so yes definitely check out that link that link will be the description below guys a smile and guys my eyes turn red on that <laughs> yeah man but the link will be in the description uh the first comment in the comment box you guys as well as the previous reaction video of this year channel like i said before i'm not gonna drop a reaction today on the mistlex react channel guys i might drop one tomorrow there's an interesting video that i saw that most likely I'll put up right there. Anyways, guys, if you want to study ready, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos, not some, but all. Be notified when I drop my videos right there. And then I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Guys, remember, guys, be real. Be positive. <laughs>